We are in VirtualBox version 5. I'm going to show you how to add more storage or add a hard drive to your VirtualBox. So you got to make sure that the virtual machine that you're about to add storage to does not have uh, the virtual machine running at that time. And we're going to right click and go to settings. And from here we're going to click on the storage button which is the fourth button down on the left hand side. Now we're going to make sure that our controller where it says SATA is highlighted. And then we'll go down to where the little plus box is. And we're going to choose to add a hard drive. Now we can choose an existing hard drive you might have created earlier or create a new disk. We're going to create a new disk. And by default we're going to just go ahead and leave the default that you see here, virtual, virtual box disk image, and click Next. Now if you have a Hyper-V uh, disk or a virtual machine uh, from VMware, then you can choose one of those. It can also mount those as well. So go ahead and click Next. We're going to choose the dynamically allocated option so that way it leaves all the free space on our host until we need it and then it just sort of fills it in over time. If you choose the fixed disk option, that's also a good option as well if you need more speed. But if you want to uh, retain your storage, then don't choose that one. Let's go ahead and change the size just to 5 gigabytes. We're going to create a small one, but you can create any size you want and you can also give it a name and we're just going to call this uh, extension storage. You can also change the location where it's located. In our case we're just going to leave it in the default location. Let's click Create and click OK. Now we're going to start up our virtual machine because there's still a couple more steps we need to do in order to actually make this new storage usable. So we're booting up, in this case it's a Windows 10 virtual machine but this also works with any servers as well and you can also use other uh, desktop versions and it works all pretty much the same way. And we're logging into our virtual machine. And from here we're going to open up our computer management. So we can get there by right clicking on our start button and choosing control panel. If you have another version of Windows, it may be a different way to do it, such as left clicking on it and choosing control panel. And from here we're going to go to administrative tools. Now this is the same in all versions of Windows, so you don't have to worry about that. Then double click on computer management and a new box will pop up that will allow us to use that new storage. Let's expand that and we're going to double click on the storage option which is under storage disk management. And we get a little pop-up that happens that says, hey, I recognize you have a new disk. Let's go ahead and choose OK. So what it did was it brought that new disk online. Now if you don't get that pop-up, which does happen on occasion, you're going to see this as showing up as offline. And that's okay. Just right click on it and choose bring online. Now that we have our disk online, we have to do a couple more steps. One is right click and choose new simple volume. And that just creates a new drive that's going to show up on our virtual machine. We're going to choose all of the available space, although you don't have to if you want to split this up into smaller chunks. And then we're going to assign the drive letter. Now it try, it's trying to do the E drive, but you can choose any letter that you want that's not being currently used. You can also mount it inside another drive. So let's say your C drive is running out of space. You could mount this inside your C drive to expand the amount of space that it has. You can also say, hey, don't assign it a drive letter or drive path because I'm not ready to use it yet and I don't want it to cause any problems by confusing me that it's there. Go ahead and click Next and choose the, your format. By default, NTFS is fine. Quick format is also fine. Go ahead and click Next and Finish. And there it is. It was fairly quick because it was such a small drive. But so now if we go to our File Explorer, we can see there's our E drive, our 5 gigabyte E drive. We can double click on it and of course we can do things such as add data, etc. So that's how you add additional storage, a new hard drive to VirtualBox version 5.